sat back and enjoy Hollywood sports entertainment. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Hollywood Sports, coming at you with another video. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. And shout out to Team Hollywood. Hey, guys, I have another tip video for you. And my tips about how to win the chess match. They're not money plays. They're not, uh, you, you, I, I'm, I, I never try to manipulate the AI. I'm just showing you simulation football. If you don't like simulation football, I'm sorry, but this video is for simulation players and how to win the chess match. And you can always beat casual players. You can always beat the players that try to manipulate the game, right? You can, you can, you can beat all those guys that's not simulation guys. The, the cheese guys are always looking for the cheese, the exploits. You can beat these guys and they will quit on you all the time because they don't know football. They know Madden cheese plays. They know Madden exploits. They practice Madden exploits. So what I want to do is show you this play, man, that how you can win the chess match. It doesn't matter if it's cover two. It doesn't matter if it's cover three. It doesn't matter if it's cover four. It doesn't matter if it's cover six. It doesn't matter if it's cover one. It doesn't matter if it's man-to-man -man coverage. This offensive play will help you win the chess match every single time, no matter what the coverage. Now, a simulation player looks at the defense, makes his evaluation. A simulation player looks at the defense, makes his evaluation, and then he makes another evaluation after the snap. Hopefully, after the snap, it's close to what he identified before the snap, okay? Now, let me show you this play, guys. All right, let's go. It's going to be in a strong, close formation. Strong, close, guys. Strong, close, okay? Strong, close. Now, I don't know if you guys got, I don't know what playbooks this play in, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's a simple play. It must be in a lot of playbooks. I don't know. But. This is a play. If, it's, if you're familiar with this play, you'll know what I'm talking about. Blood drive. Right there in the middle, guys. Blood drive. Okay? It says the primary receiver is Jordan Reed. You got uh, two running backs, one tight end, and two wide receivers. The concept is drive. Blood drive. Okay, let's click on it. Now, I'm going to put the defense on random plays. But first of all, let's welcome the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to our practice facility. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we invited them out so we can practice practice against each other. Okay? Now, we're going to put it on random play, guys, because it doesn't matter. When you play in simulation football, if you want to be good, not necessarily excellent or outstanding, just good, a really good player, you want to be able to make adjustments based on what you see. Okay? That's it. We get you guys get hung up on what if it's cover two, if it's cover three, if it's cover four, if it's cover six, if it's man to man. Guess what? And my and Hollywood's mind, it don't matter what the coverage is, it's what you're looking at that matters. Yeah, you can say, oh man, that's a cover two, oh man, that's a cover three, but really it doesn't matter what the name of it is. It's where the play the defensive players are positioned on the field based on your play art on how you're gonna execute your play. That's all you need to know. Here is the play art for this play, right? Blood drive. Strong close blood drive. Strong close formation, blood drive is the name of the play. All you care about, you know how your play executes. All you care about is where the defensive players are. It doesn't matter what what, what is the defensive call is. It doesn't matter. You just identify players on the field and make your call. Okay? That's all. Now, a lot of times it helps you to decide what play you want to run if a person keeps playing cover two or cover three or cover four or man to man, right? Or blitzing all the time or cover one. Then it, it, it helps you determine what play you want to pick. But once you pick a play and see a defense, it doesn't matter what the name of that defense is, it's where the players are. Now on this play, whenever you see that safety, we're going to look at Richardson. I like to look at Richardson first. Whenever you see that safety close to the hash marks, Richardson is not the key. My first read, when I look at that, that safety, it's to hit Jordan Reed. If not Jordan Reed, if they grab Jordan Reed, a lot of times Davis is, but here's the options. Richardson, every, every receiver on the field is always open based on the position. 
Okay, like right now, I wouldn't look at Richardson right away. My first read would probably be Davis on the check down, but I would keep my eyes open for read. If not read, then I'm gonna do a slip across, uh, 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 you know, that slipping cross, a simple crossing route with McLaurin. Okay, now let's take a look at it. On this play, my first read is Reed and then Davis. All right, here we go. Yeah, Reed's wide open. Because I'm used to identifying the defense. It doesn't matter what they're running. See? Now the defense is in a different coverage. Now, look at the play arc. That safety is further outside as far as Richardson. Okay? So you could hot route across the middle, but I'm just talking about no adjustments, guys. Reading the defense. Okay? Now, again, Davis is probably going to be, I mean, Reed is probably going to be open again. Now, they split, they split. They got a lot of players to the outsides of this, of this formation. You could audible and run right up the middle. Chess match. Chess match. How are you going to win the chess match? Let's run it. Get good blocks and get some, get some good yardage. 45 yards, right? All right. Another defense. Now, I look at the safety. He's in close to the hash marks. So I kind of, I, I say, Richardson, the ball ain't coming to you right now, okay? So again, I'm going to look for Reed, Davis, or McLaurin, okay? Those are my three reads when I see the snap. But I'm looking quick in case it's a blitz, all right? Here we go. He had too much space, so I gave it to him right away. You're kind of looking at all three routes at the same time. It's like your per per peripheral vision. I can't speak, guys. Your per per peripherals, you're kind of looking at, because they're, they're right there on the right side all together. So try. I'm trying to work on that my, my vision so you can see all three, and you'll notice who breaks open the more you see it. Okay, now, look that safety came down in the box, right? So if there's a chance, Richardson could be over, so he's going to be my first read, okay? And then I'm going to go to Reed and Davis and McLaurin, same order, okay? All right, here we go. There he is, there he is. See? It doesn't matter what formation you see. It's where the guys are at on the field based on your route progressions. Okay, here we go. We look at it again. That safety, where is he at? He's in the box. Okay, so chances are I'm gonna look for Richardson first. Um, that it depends on your quarterback's arm strength and all that stuff. Yeah, all the ratings matter, but I'm gonna look at Richardson first, Reed second, Davis third, because he's a quick check down, especially if I get a blitz or McLaurin. Okay, let's look at it one more time. Here we go. See. I judge on that safety. Whatever that safety's doing, I decide whether I'm going to Richardson or not. Now let's look at the replay for the first time. <clears throat> All right. All right. I said I was going to Richardson, right? Now let's look at it. Richardson's open, obviously. Now, look at Reed. Look at Reed. Reed probably would have been open again right here when he comes across this middle. Because look at that. And nobody's here. Nobody's here. So, Reed would probably been open. You look at the check down. Davis is out here. He looked like he might have been covered right there. That's a little dangerous pass. Could be a pick six. Right? And then you had, you have a man, you have McLaurin coming across right here. McLaurin was the last read, okay? All right. Doesn't matter what play, guys. Again, this is strong, close formation. Blood drive is the name of the play. Okay, look at that safety. Now he's on the outside. He's away from that hash mark. Okay. Now, the way I look at it, again, I'm going to look for David. I mean, read the tight end. I'm going to look for Davis or McLaurin coming across. And it's about vision, guys. So I, I'm in practice mode doing this stuff all the time. That's why it's hard to play me straight up because I got too many options on my plays. There's Reed right there. You know, of course, I, you know, I didn't throw it right, but you see he was open. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. We look at the safety. He's closer to the hash marks. All right. Reed Davis McLaurin. 
Sometimes you don't have to go through your progressions. When you get used to certain reactions on what you see, you'll know what happens. Let's see what happened on this play. Why didn't they guard Davis? Davis goes out. See that outside linebacker came inside, trying to get the quarterback. Look at that. Now look at this guy right here. He can't go over here. He can't. Because look at McLaurin sitting right here. So you see him trying to guard. Davis is right here. <laughs> He's wide open. So why even waste time looking? Now you could still could have came and cracked back across to David. He's wide open. But see McLaurin, I mean uh, uh, Richardson is not open. We're going to do one more. Doesn't matter what the play is, guys. Doesn't matter what the deep bench running. Don't get hung up on what it is. Just look at where the player's position. You know your play art. You know what's how you can prove your percentages. Now, also, you can do an audible. You can do a, a toss um, to the right. But I just have one run play because I don't want to get too many run plays. I can run this play up the middle. If I see a big gap more in the middle, because a lot of guys like to try to avoid the toss, right? They try to uh, stop you from doing the toss. Especially in this strong uh, strong close. They say, okay, he's going to toss it. So they going to lean a little bit to the outside to just pop it up the middle. See? You want your offensive plays to have options, guys. That's it. Options. Your audibles give you options, but sometimes you don't need a lot of audibles. You look at your route progressions, and you learn how to read the defense before the snap and after the snap. All right, guys, we're going to do one more and then we're done. Okay, like, look here. Richardson most likely is going to be open on this play. Where's that safety? In the middle of the field. It's, it doesn't matter what the coverage is and where guys are. And look at the right side. Those guys are spread it out to the right, right? Okay, so most likely Reed is going to probably be open if you don't hit Richardson. You see, Richardson is right there. Oh, I shouldn't have thrown that. Let's look at that again. So I made a mistake on that play. Let's look at that again. I should have just went to read. Should have just went to read on that play. Watch this. Uh, our, 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 um, yeah, Jordan Reed, our tight end. Look, wide open. Wide open right there. Look, he's wide open. He's wide open. See? I assume Paul Richards was going to be open over here, and he wasn't. That outside linebacker dropped back into coverage. Now, I already said these guys over here on the right, if you look at the beginning of the play, those guys spread it out to the right. I said Reed would probably be open, but I thought I thought that the outside linebacker was going to come in. You know, normally, the middle linebacker is trying to cover the middle of the field, or the guy's usering. Somebody's always usering the linebacker, right? And I thought Richardson would be open, but that outside linebacker dropped back in coverage, and Reed is open right here. Reed is open right there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, man. Like I said, offensive play calling, not play calling, but offensive ex execution is about reading where defense guys are positioning. It doesn't, don't get hung up on whether it's cover two, cover three, cover four. You need to know that to, to make your, to decide what play you're going to run based on another person's tendencies. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. But if you're new to the channel, you like stuff like this, man, hit that subscribe button, join the team of Hollywood Sports, and I will see you on my next video. Thanks for watching.